Today on the show, Don Jose Ruiz explains the meaning behind the end of the Mayan calendar as we discuss what's happening this year in 2012. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Natalie Ledwell and this is The Inspiration Show. And today I'm here again with my friend Don Jose Ruiz. How are you, Jose? Oh, very, very happy to be back. <laughs> um, now, uh, we've already, as you know, we've already recorded one video together, but we wanted to do another show um, specifically on all of the predictions and the information that's floating around about 2012. Um, and I was mentioning to you before how uh, we've talked about some of the predictions that are happening, you know, with the Mayan calendar ending and, uh, you know, the, all the, the, the sun, the earth and the middle of the universe all being aligned and a, a whole bunch of other predictions. Um, and uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, what's, what's happening or what, in your knowledge, you know, is happening this year. Now, I know in the last video we talked about how you are a Toltec shaman. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about, is there any predictions within you know, that, that, that actually you're talking about 2012. Yes, it's very interesting. One of my last conversations with my grandmother was about this topic, and uh, she always says, son, if you're well connected in your heart into life, you know that change is happening because if you're part of the change, you're going to join it, but if you're not part of the change, you're going to get le left behind. Mm. And it's one of the beautiful things. She says, always listen to your heart. So she passed away, and then probably like eight months after that, one of my friends said, Don Jose, what is the, what's going to happen in the end of the Mayan calendar? Mm. And I says, you know, my response doesn't come from archaeological books or from any kind. It comes from the heart because that's what my grandma told me. Mm. That if I speak something out of the other situation, I'll be just a parrot. And I'm not going to know what I'm saying. But for me, what it means is the end of superstition. It's the end that will give power away to somebody else so we can respect our own power. Because just imagine, like, the children living 200 years from now and, and they because of this action, they find heaven in themselves and they will say to, to among themselves, I can't believe humanity used to go to somebody outside of them to be happy mm. when it's always been inside. So in that moment, we can see there's a barbarism uh, still happening because we punish ourselves. And not only that, when we start living this way, for integrity in seeing the happiness inside ourselves, we're restoring culture. And when we restore culture, we'll take any kind of corruption away from any kind of life, mm. especially in spirituality. Because this is when many people say spirituality, they top their heads, you know, they don't want to listen. But when we talk about with truth and integrity, with, the, with no superstition at all, we come from the heart, then we begin to understand because we begin to communicate. And this is what's happening right now all over the globe. This is why I smile so big when they ask me, what is the similarity? There's a lot of similarities between the Buddhist and the Toltec, but they were miles apart aside. Mm -hmm. Because yes, the only similarity is that we put attention to nature. So this is the moment of time of change. We can make whatever we want of 2012. Mm -hmm. if, when we act as positivity in different societies, different traditions, then we're making a change as an agreement, and this is what's happening right now. Absolutely. Because the thing is, what we believe and what we choose to create is what our reality will be. Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you know, there's predictions of Armageddon and the end of the world, which, you know...